Our next amazing area of exponential growth is health medicine. Uh, the ability, if we would, to recombine a whole slew of technologies to affect how we are live our lives in a healthy manner. So let's look at data, let's look at stem cells, let's look at genetics, look at brain-computer interface and this explosion that's been happening over just the last six months. So the first one is a program run out of Microsoft by the team at Bing for predicting cancer, particular pancreatic cancer, in efficiencies far better than ever before. So universities at the Health and Wellness Division at Microsoft have been able to mine search queries from 6.4 million Bing users for searches of symptoms and found they could predict diagnoses weeks in advance. And by identifying searches that could suggest other risk factors like alcoholism and obesity, the team successfully predicted pancreatic cancer diagnosis up to five months in advance. And if you think about pancreatic cancer, it is aggressive. Five months can mean the difference between life and death. Now, I love this. This is out of UCLA. A team has developed a brand new microscope combined with AI to find cancer cells much faster. When I say much faster, we're talking about being able to analyze 36 million images per second and spot cancer cells with 95% accuracy. There's no excuse anymore for not finding cancer in its earliest days. If you've been following the health news, the big craze is immunotherapy. Out of the Fred Hutchison Cancer Center, they pioneered a breakthrough living immunotherapy treatment that engineers the patient's own immune system to be able to target specific molecules on your cancer cell. So you can imagine sequencing your body, sequencing the cancer, identifying special, certain, unique molecules for that cancer, and then getting your immune system to attack that so that you are fighting back your own cancer. I think this is amazing. I was in medical school when HIV AIDS came onto the scene and was this unknown death sentence that people had. And look at how far we've come. Temple University researchers have successfully edited the HIV virus out of human immune cell DNA. It's all due, of course, to that amazing technology of CRISPR-Cas9 that we've all been hearing so much about. They've eliminated the HIV-1 DNA from a T-cell genome and allowed that individual to actually regain their normal human health. So another amazing field is the ability to use stem cells to repair the body. Our stem cells, as we grow older, undergo these epigenetic changes, deletions, mutations, and they become less capable of repairing. Also, our body supply of stem cells plummets over the course of our first 50, 60 years. Out of Stanford University School of Medicine, investigators have just completed a small clinical trial in which they safely restored motor function in chronic stroke patients by injecting specially prepared human adult stem cells into that patient's brain. Imagine being told you'll never walk again or never move your arms again, having one injection and then be able to regain that capability. It really is an amazing period to be alive, more than ever before. We're seeing the same impact of stem cells on returning vision to a person who's lost their vision. In addition to stem cells, another magical biological technology coming online right now is called gene therapy. This was early developed 1980s, had a lot of hype, didn't actually work, but for the first time ever, gene therapy has cured a disease. You know the disease known as bubble boy, where you have no immunoprotective capability. So a company out of Europe is poised to become the first commercial gene therapy uh, provider to outright cure a deadly disease. And this particular cure has been tested on 18 children over the last 15 years. GlaxoSmithKline that owns this patent is about to seek US deployment and FDA approval. Let's go into the area of brain-computer interface. So DARPA's new program is called the Targeted Neuroplasticity Training Program, and it's hoping to have subjects learn super fast, learning languages, learning skills faster than ever before. Along that line, researchers at HRL Labs have been using transcranial direct current stimulation to take recorded brain patterns from an expert pilot and transmit them to a novice pilot across the brain cranial divide. And this method has yielded a 33% increase in skill consistency compared to the control group. 
So imagine being able to learn skills faster and better than ever before. One of the important parts of that is trying to understand and decode how our brain codes visual, auditory, and sensory input and then stores it in the hippocampus. So for the first time ever, University of Washington scientists have decoded brain signals in real time. The technique takes us one step closer to brain mapping and it's helping researchers pinpoint which brain locations are sensitive to certain information types. This is a chance to understand how the brain stores images and thoughts and equations. So this is just one quick look at the field of health. Genomics, CRISPR-Cas9, stem cells, brain-computer interface, we're exploding. Last six months, get ready for an amazing world ahead.